If there's anything weird, ever before seen or heard, sure you know it will happen to me. And guess what, my dears, the last couple of years, I've had a visitor as rare as could be. Now you might not believe, but last Christmas Eve, after the crowd had gone home for the night, I was getting a snack, when from behind my back, a big voice made me jump with the fright. What is that food? It sure smells some good. The question ended with a hearty ho-ho. When I turned round I seen a big man dressed in green, with a beard just as white as the snow. Santa Claus, is that you? The words from me did spew. If not, then beat it, for I gets the gun. I smelt a fish fry, he said by way of reply. Yes, it's me, and what are you stunned? I showed him the dish and said, this is boiled fish. What you're smelling is some fried pork fat. They're scrunchions, my son, and the taties are done. I'll make some lovely fish cakes out of that. Santa sat down, said, I don't normally come round. At the North Pole, it's been a hell of a year. It's all been so strange, and now with climate change, the ice is too thin for my village to bear. Sure, it's skin you with heat, and that once thick ice sheet is now thin and is turning to mush. And most of it's sunk, and what's left is junk. Santa's village is now sitting in slush. The fish cakes now done, I handed him some. He ate them all without saying a peep. And as he cleared off his plate, said, I've been thinking up late of buying up Great Harbor Deep. But the crowd on skidoos and on side-by-sides too, nosing round and won't give me private space. Now I like that old bag, always covered in fog, that starts right at the end of your plates. Too soft for the bikers, too cold for the hikers, ne'er tree anyone wants to cut. And that fag like the dough, it will hide me also, and no one owns the land it abuts. Well, to him I replied, Jeff Bezos applied, to buy that land from me, and now it's gone. All out there and below will soon be the depot for the new northernmost Amazon. Sides so Santa, tis no crime, and it's not the first time I've been upstaged by some brash, bold, big shot. So on I must go, but I really don't know where to find a more suitable spot. As he went for the door, I called, just one thing more. Why are you all dressed in green? I hardly knew it was yourself, sure you'd pass for an elf. You wear red in every other picture I've seen. He gave a big smile, saying, For the last while, I've been growing less and less content with what mankind is screwing, you know, basically screwing, up everything in this environment. So this here green suit means I give a hoot. Being sustainable is now my cause. I said, I hope you will find a new place that is kind to you, the elves, and of course, Mrs. Claus. And with that he was gone, and so I moved on, as the depot sprawled all through the marsh. I sometimes thought the Santa had found the new spot, as 2020 turned so very harsh. Now a whole year has gone by, enough to make you cry. I want to forget it with all of my might. Still, I know we'll prevail, and there's more to my tale, cause Santa returned just the other night. This time he knocked as he should, said, I need some good food, been eating junk by scads and by sheets, and I know you makes the nicest fish cakes, best remedy for too many sweets. I said, to me, it appears that after all of these years, You'd be able to show some restraint. He frowned as he replied, You know full well I tried, But me guts are so bad I feel faint. So I sat him right down, What brings you back to town? I asked as he scarfed down his lunch. 
He replied, this COVID mess means on me there's a press and my shipping's back right up to a crunch. So I asked Amazon if they'd put more shifts on and give me a hand to wrap things for the dash. And Big Jeff gave permission to help with the mission, so long as I paid him in cash. But then I protested. You should have contested. With no taxes paid, our Trudeau will hiss. But Trudeau just grinned, said, maybe I sinned. But Justin doesn't want to be moved to that other list. He was once more clad in red. And so to him I said, can I assume you've had a big change of heart? No, the missus said I look stunned, and I'd surely be shunned by the kids, but I still did my part. I made it my goal to stop mining that coal. This past year we produced just one lump. And since this whole year was no gas, I gave all hands a pass, except for that one piece I am saving for Trump. And what about your home? Are you still on the roam? For somewhere to replace the North Pole? No, I got one, he said. No need to feel dread. The situation's now back in control. Elon Musk visited my shop, and we arranged for a swap. I give him sleigh tech for use in his cars. And his contribution was a rocket solution. And I resettled Santa's village to Mars. And it's all been working out fine, he said. Now by the dines, hardly seen a single soul this past fall. Still I miss when I go with the missus to Costco. But them roundabouts, I don't miss them at all. Then he jumped in his sleigh, said I must be away. But he called out before they all disappeared. I'll see you next time, my son. I think 2021 will be a kinder and gentler year.